Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Matt Bruck. This is Guitar World's Tech Education on CD-ROM. So today what I want to show you is uh, how to replace preamp tubes and how to replace power amp tubes. The proper technique for taking tubes in and out of an amplifier. Changing tubes is something that you would want to do, especially in the preamp section, you know, when your amplifiers had a lot of wear and tear on it, a lot of miles on it, a lot of play time on it. And you get to a point as a player where you kind of listen to your tone, which you're familiar with because you play through it all the time, and you go, you know, it's just not it's not popping the way I want, it's not delivering the the responsiveness that I want, it's not it's not delivering the performance that I want. So um, in the case of preamp tubes, those are tubes that you can change yourself. Uh, in the case of power tubes or output tubes, I would say leave that to a qualified technician because I like output tubes biased and I like uh, a properly qualified individual to do that. I wouldn't recommend that if you don't have any knowledge or experience in electronics that you change your output tubes. So to, the technique is the same for taking a, a power tube, output tube out as it is for a preamp. But for demonstration today, I'm going to change preamp tubes. Okay? So the first thing you need to do is get at the amplifier, and that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so like now we have the chassis out of the head box, and we have access to the tubes. Um, the big tubes are the output tubes, power tubes, and the little tubes are the preamp tubes. And again, depending on what amp what tube amplifier you have, the location of the tubes is going to be different, but always the concept the same. So we're going to change preamp tubes. And preamp tubes are located right here. So the first thing you want to do is take the tube shields off if there are any. Okay, now you've got access to the tubes. So there whether it's a power tube or a preamp tube, the technique to take them out, which is really the heart and soul of this segment, is the same. You want to grab the tube at the top, you want to make sure that it's not hot if it's been running, and you want to pick it up. You want to pull it up in a slow and circular motion because we're taking it out of what it's plugged into, which is known as a tube socket, just like a light bulb. Okay, slow and circular, and there it is. Same thing, always. Slow and circular, pulling up, pulling up, until it comes free. If you have a power amp tube, it's the same deal. You remove the, the shield and grab the tube and just pull it up in a slow and slightly circular motion. What this does is it prevents uh, the tube sockets from cracking, your pins uh, from breaking off inside the circuit. Slow and gentle will always get it out. Okay, and so what you're left with are empty tube sockets. And I want to bring the camera in here and show you guys what a tube socket looks like. So this is what the tube sockets look like up close. You can see they have a, a very definite uh, hole pattern and that whole pattern matches up with the pin pattern on your tube. These little black ones are the preamp sockets and as the camera moves to the right you're going to see a white ceramic output tube valve socket. Okay so now we've got the old set of preamp tubes out of the amp. We've got the tube sockets uh, available to us and we're going to put some new tubes in. Right? So I've got a trio since this amp takes three preamp tubes of uh, Tesla JJ, really good preamp tube, uh, low noise, high gain, very consistent quality. And one of the things about tubes is that they have these things called pins which go into the tube socket. And a lot of times these pins get bent and getting one of these tubes into a socket with bent pins can be a real pain in the ass. So what I have 
is called a pin straightener. And this is a really cool thing. When you order tubes, uh, you, can, you can ask for one. They're probably like 25 cents or something like that. But they really come in handy in straightening the pins out before you put them into the amplifier. So what you want to do is just take the preamp tube and the pin straightener and just line up the pins and just push it on and that will straighten out your tubes. And now this tube is going to go into this socket so easily. What you want to do when you insert a preamp tube is make sure that the pin pattern matches the hole pattern on the socket. So what you do is you just take the pin pattern, line it up with the hole pattern on the socket and drop it in. And when you drop it in, you drop it in the same way that you took it out. You put it in with a downward, circular, gentle motion until it just won't go any further. Okay? Same thing. Just step and repeat. I'm going to straighten it out with my pin straightener. Line up the pins to the hole pattern and just drop it in. Slow, downward, circular. And that's really it. Not much to it. Uh, on output tubes, putting them back in, they're a different story uh, than preamp tubes because output tu tubes come with a center pin and a little notch. And what you do to put a output tube back in is you make it free and clear to go in and you just line it up with the center pin and you turn it slowly and you'll feel that little notch, that little plastic notch in the center of the tube as you're spinning it you'll feel it catch it just caught and then same thing slow circular with downward pressure until it's in boom done and then one last thing you want to do is just put the tube shields back on so now, now you got the tubes in and it's time to check uh, if they're working properly so there's a couple steps involved in this first of all you want to make sure that the tubes are lit and heated and you can see this little orange glow here and here and here okay you want to see that you want to see the tubes glowing and getting some heat the next thing I'm going to do is switch the amp on so I'm going to turn up the master I'm going to turn up the preamp and there's my hiss at this point, I've checked to make sure that the tubes are heated. I've checked, sure, I've checked to make sure that I've got some uh, hiss coming out of the amp, which is normal. And the only thing left for me to do is put the tube shields back on, put the amp back in the box, and plug it in play to check it. And you want to disconnect the power cable before you do anything. Okay, so I've just powered down the amp, and I'm unplugging the amp. Now I'm going to move to putting it back in the box. Sounds pretty good to me. Hope you dug the segment. I'll see you next month.